Hello. In this video, we are going to count in multiples of 10. This means we are not going to count every single number. Instead, we are going to count every tenth number, starting from zero. Let's begin. For this, we are going to ask for some help from Shelley the Crab and her scuttling crab friends. Shelley and her friends each have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten scuttling legs. So each time we will be counting how many legs there are. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Let's count them again, but this time let's count them in groups of 10, like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 scuttling legs. We can also represent this on a number line where we can start counting at zero, then count every tenth number like this. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We can also continue to practice counting in tens as part of learning the 10 times tables, which we can represent on a counting stick, where we like to record each answer in its own space, which helps when we start to learn our times tables. Like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and where zero has no space, as it represents zero groups of 10. So, why not continue to practice counting in tens by checking out our 10 times tables on a counting stick videos, as well as finding out what Shelley and her friends are up to? Bye for now!